これは油数の賢い財布はこういうのすり身のしますまつけてくださいとワートピア、プリズメンバーのノートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけたら、このワートピアを見つけ But we won't get into this. But you kind of get a feel for how it works. And we will walk through that. And let's open up the wallet. It's a little eclectic. I spent time living in Japan and can appreciate how this was designed. And kind of the haberdashery mentality that exists in Japan. We get a look at this. It may look fake, but this is an embossed top grain, well, actually, full grain leather. See the stitching that comes into this. It's actually a fun little design that we'll talk through. Now let's do a feature review of the Abrasis bifold wallet. The Abrasis is a bifold. If we look at it here, it's uh, interesting in that it opens by removing this top piece that gets tucked under the bottom piece here. And so that's how it actually sits without. Coming undone. When you need to use it, you pull it open. There are no features on the outside, so if we pull it open, and it's easier to do it from this angle, we will see that up here at the top, right in here, is a little, a little、uh, open space here. It's a little hideaway. And in here is where you can put keys. They like to say keys go here. You might say coins, but there's another place for that, and we'll get to that. So keys go here. This is a little lip that actually can hold your cash. If we come down here further, we can see that the cache continues behind here, starts back here, and goes all the way to the front. And that's how it maintains itself. Right here is where we actually have the card slot. So cards go in here, and they're maintained. And then the little sneaky part is that under these snaps, we have a spot for coins. Coins can be stored all along here and accessed. But don't have no fear of coming out unless you explicitly go for them and have to open it up here. And that is a review of the features of the Abrasis Bifold Wallet. Now, onto the card and cash and、uh, coin and key insertion test. Okay, you saw that I got five cards in there. I got the key, I got four quarters, and seven slips of cash. Did dollars, yen, and euro.、Uh, you, you could probably get more, more coins in here. I think it can hold up to five. Now, they say it can hold up to five cards, which we had, and 15 slips of cash, and 15 coins is what they're saying. Now, that, that really comes to Japanese coins, but they're about the same size as a quarter, the Juens. Now, quality this is designed and made in Japan. It's made of embossed veg tan leather from Japan. And has this lacquer finish on it here. Let's take a look at this thing and, and also how the coins work. So, from here, we can see that it's got this nice lacquer finish on it. You can also get it where it's a, a plain leather, but、uh, this has just got a nice look to it here. If we open this up, we can see that we've got great access to the cards. It's a push from the bottom, and that's how it, they, they come out. And let me pull these out so I can show you what they mean by way of how thin this is. If you look at this cutout here, this cutout. Is opposite of this cut in, or this cut out and this cut in here. Same thing with what we have here and what we have there. So when they fold, they actually fold into each other. So instead of creating bulk, 
they actually uh, come together as if they're puzzle pieces. And that actually helps reduce some of the bulk. Now if we look at the coins, again they're in here with snaps. They just kind of roll around here and you can fit, you can, uh, fit in money more in there. And you just have quick access to them. They fold up and they're secure. They are going nowhere in there, which is uh, quite nice. Now the price on this is $159. The wallet measures four inches by 2.8 by 0.51. Now this is a very interesting concept and it falls into the type of wallets that I would often see in Japan. Um, they're, they're very eclectic in what they create with these things. And like in many other parts of the world, coins are still used pretty frequently. And to be able to store them pretty discreetly in this way it is quite clever. It really can't hold many cards. So it really is kind of a good crossover combination between cash cards, coin, and of course you have your key in there. So let's get to the final score. For quality of four, price a two, features a four, usability a three, and perception a four. That gives us a final score of 34 out of 50. Thanks for watching us again. Look at these videos, see if they interest you. We'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.